On Wednesday morning, law enforcement agencies gathered all the students of A.C. Jones High School to give them a message. Sexting, when it involves nude photos of anyone younger than 18, is illegal. These lectures came in response to a discovery by sheriff's office investigators who say that three A.C. Jones High School girls sent nude photographs of themselves to their boyfriends. The topic we're here to talk about deals with texting. Y'all know what texting is? You have an idea of it? If not, let me get your left or right. That's how I'm doing it right now. We're here to talk about sexting. Sexting is what you may have heard of, you may not have heard of. We'll go with the detail explaining it. Sexting is the act of sending sexually explicit photos or text messages. Dirty messages, nude pictures, you all know what I'm talking about. This is going to be sent electronically, primarily through cell phones. It can be through email. It can be posted on websites, on MySpace, Facebook. It can be tweeted. Is there anybody in this room that can take their clothes off and walk out in the middle of the football field during a homecoming football game? That's what you do when you send your picture out to somebody, even one person. Because from that point on, everybody knows what you look like. And it's not a good thing. If you take a picture, a girl takes a picture of herself and sends it to one of y'all. She's younger than 18, you're in possession of child pornography. You didn't intend to receive it, but you got it. If you take a picture of yourself, make it and you send it to someone. If you're younger than 18, even though it's a picture of yourself, you are still in possession of child pornography. If you send it to someone else, you've distributed that. You've not created the offense of sexual performance by a child. If you take a picture of someone else, of your girlfriend, of another guy, whatever you do, it's still sexual performance of a child. I've got a message to y'all to give y'all today from the district attorney's office. Uh, while they chose not to prosecute on this current issue that we're dealing with, they want y'all to get the message loud and clear that from this point on, that will not be the case. They will look at and consider prosecution on any future cases of this that we have. So, uh, you, you get something you think you erase it also, think it's gone, it's not. When you get charged with one of these offenses, and you go through the court system after you have to pay first to bond out of jail if you're lucky, and then to get your lawyer, and then you finally go to court, and you get convicted. Our district attorney is very strict on prosecuting these charges, as will be explained. But you'll be required to register as a sex offender. So think of it this way. Your entire life is stripped from you because you decided to send a picture of yourself to a boy. Say you don't become a sex offender. Say you don't have to do all that. Say for whatever reason you do not get caught. They will still come back to haunt you, as others have said. You decide you want to be a district attorney one day, mm -hmm. people will find out. Your boyfriends will say, you know what? I remember her in high school. She sent me all kinds of pictures. They're going to be out in the community, out on the internet, on YouTube, everything. And then your job is over. Teacher, you want to be a teacher? You want to be a principal? Nope. They will come back to haunt you. So you may not have legal ramifications. You may not have to be a registered sex offender. You may not have to go to prison. You may not have to go to jail. You may not have to do any of that stuff. But it will still come back to haunt you. So one thing that Ms. Rodriguez did not mention was if you are a sex offender, a registered sex offender, and you have children, you will not be able to be with them by yourself. You will always have supervised visits. and. I mean, how many of us want that? How, how many of you want to not be able to see your own child because you're sure born? Plain and simple, sex is stupid. It is. Don't catch the digital disease. While we portray here the laws and the consequences of your actions, we are here for the victims. Even if you created that photo and you sent it, once it gets distributed, you are a victim. Yeah, we are here to help you. Please. Thank you for watching this video broadcast brought to you by MySouthText.com.